One. Boom. And we're live. My man. What's up, baby? First of all, how the fuck do you punch so hard? <laughs> Did it, I've seen a lot of hard punchers, man. I've been watching boxing since I was a little kid. You've got some freakish power, man. Yeah. It's weird. You got weird power. Uh, most definitely. Uh, we always say I'm a freak of nature. I definitely got some type of freakish power. Um, I always tell the story that my grandmother said I was anointed by God. She was always like, if I got suspended for school and stuff, she was always like, God is trying to use you. You're the one. You're chosen. You know. Ooh. Yeah. She was very big, and you know, she was big in the, in the spirit, spirituality and uh, Christianity. You know, so she should always be a teacher. You know, she wasn't really a, a discipline, disciplinary type of woman. She was a teacher. She wanted to teach you, tell you certain things. She used to always say, "I was, I was annoyed." She wouldn't even let my parents whoop me. Wow. Not in front of her. That's how serious she were. She like. Uh, she like, don't you better not whoop him. He's gonna be the one to bring you up. He's gonna be the one to bring you guys up. Don't whoop him, you know. Um, Somebody tells you something like that at a young age, you might believe it. Well, I didn't Did even. You I, it? I really, you know, just being so young, you know, just being, you know, we 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 we, we did as children do, you yeah. know. I didn't really think too much about it because I didn't understand right. what she was saying. You know, I didn't start understanding until you start putting away childish ways and you become a grown man and you start uh, venturing out in life and experiencing life on your own and start seeing certain things and then even even when I got out on my own you know I really there's a lot of things I didn't start understanding until I was 30 you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. just to you know cause certain things different things were happening in my life you know and that you you know sometimes you just you, you, you deal with it and you handle it the best way you can handle it but it's certain things that starts to happen. He was like, my grandma said something about this. Or, you know, it's just, yeah. just, you know. And um, that's how my life been. But it's amazing how I can come in at 209 and fight a guy that's, that coming in at 260 and, and able to drop him like I did. Like, it's crazy. But I, we are, I've always been stronger than my, than what I've looked. It's interesting that the cruiserweight division doesn't get any love. I mean, the last time it got love was when Evander Holyfield was fighting in it. Yeah. That was really the last time people cared about the cruiserweight division. Now it's a forgotten division, kind of. Um, yeah, yeah, that's true. You know, um, you know, my brother's just starting in the, in the, in the uh, cruiserweight division. Hopefully he can bring some excitement. You know, to it because you you're so right. You know, it's almost like they don't even talk about it. It doesn't make any sense because mm. the light heavyweight division gets a lot of love. People mm. love watching light heavyweight Correct. fights. Always gets lots of attention. But the cruiserweight division is always like people look at it like, why are you here? Yeah, put, put on some weight, go <laughs> up. Yep, yep. It's true. It's true because the heavyweights always overshadow. Yeah, those guys. 